here. Today, we're going to dive deep into the second golden law, which is the law of sacred spaces. This law is all about creating boundaries between your work life and your family life. Believe it or not, there was a time when I really struggled to draw the line between family life and work life. I'd be preparing dinner while answering emails on my phone, or I'd be playing with my kids and thinking about the interview I had coming up. I felt like I was always on and it was taking its toll not only on my family but also on my mental health that's when i discovered the importance of creating sacred spaces when you blur the lines between work and family life you not only risk burnout but also really strained relationships creating boundaries is really crucial not only for you but for those you love so once i realized that i was really bad at this I began to designate locations in my home that were specifically for work or specifically for play or spending time with my family or specifically for relaxation. This means that when I'm in my office, I'm focused on work. And when I'm elsewhere, that's my personal time or time to spend with my family. It's simple, but really, really effective. I also began defining my work hours and I made it a point to disconnect at a certain time each day so that I could give my family my undivided attention. I even implemented a digital detox routine to ensure that I could be fully mentally available for the people I loved most without any of the work distractions getting in the way. Trust me, this is also a total game changer. The way I like to describe it is borrowed from an old TV show that I used to watch when I was a kid. It was Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And in the beginning of the show, Fred Rogers would walk into the set, which was set up like a home, and he would be singing a song, but he would take off his blazer and put on a house sweater and he would change out of the loafers he was wearing and put on house slippers. This was a physical representation that he was changing out of his work clothes and into his more leisure attire like he was leaving work outside and coming in with a whole new mindset. Now obviously I work at home so I had to be creative with the way in which I signaled to myself that it was the end of my work day and the start of time with my family. One of the signals I give myself is these earrings that I'm always wearing. When I'm working, doing interviews, recording videos, or working with clients, I wear these earrings. At the end of a workday, when I'm ready to go spend time with my family, I take these earrings off, signaling to myself that it's time to be done with work and thinking about building relationships with my kids. Now I have a different routine that signals to myself when it's time to say goodnight to the children and step into my lover wife role so that I can spend quality time with my super hunky husband. So I urge you to give this a try. It may feel a little bit strange at first, but I promise it's worth it. Start by defining your work spaces and your work times, then gradually incorporate some sort of routine to signal to yourself that you're leaving a workspace both physically and mentally and prepared to give your full attention and energy to your kids and your spouse. And remember, there's plenty of tools and apps that can help you stay productive during those work hours. When you start to define that time, you'll start to be more efficient and effective within those boundaries. So I hope you found this video helpful defining the second golden law. And I look forward to hearing about your journey with creating sacred spaces. Feel free to email me back and let me know what works best for you. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll dive into the third golden law. And until then, keep moving in the direction of your happily ever after. To learn more, more ways to deepen your intimacy and strengthen your relationship, make sure you watch this video next.